Hello everyone, my name is Sam Kinnett and welcome to part three of our YouTube series around building a customer application app from scratch. If you have yet to see parts one and two, please go watch those first so that you have an idea of what we're building towards. If you have seen those, welcome back to part three. I'm glad to have you back. Today in our build, we are going to be building a robotic task. Now, what is a robotic task? A robotic task is something that allows a robot to perform human actions so that a human can perform more important work. Today, we're going to use the robotic task to go onto our external website, navigate for the customer or the company name, and then pull that company's ESG score from the site. And then we will feed that back into our process to use later on. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is navigate to our operations console, and we're going to create our robot to get online. I'm going to call this robot my computer and give it a role operation permission and just follow the, the guided steps. I'm using a Mac, so we will go ahead and create. And what this is going to do is based on my system, it is going to give me a robot and the set of instructions to run to get my robot online. Now you can see I have a set of instructions to do in my terminal. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually drag my RPA agent file into my folder so that I can call it. Now that we have that in there, we can open up our terminal. Let me drag it over here. And we can follow our steps to get it online. So I'm going to get my directory. Now that we are within my app and RPA folder, I am just going to type in the instructions. Run, make sure that looks good. Appian RPA agent dot run. And now you can see it's going to go through the steps. And in just a moment, my robot will be online. Let's take a look here. Looks like it's going through. Connected to server. And let's just make sure. Okay, so it looks like it's running. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. And it is perfect. So we have our robot online. That's great. That's great news. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to create a robot pool. Now, this might be something new to some of you. A robot pool is a way to organize robots based on their functionality. And so this pool is going to be robots that retrieve a company's ESG company. Uh, my, my grammar is wrong. ESG score. And so all the robots within this pool are going to be able to carry out my robotic task of getting ESG score. And so it's just a really good way of organizing your robots. So we'll go ahead and create that. Give it a second to load here. Let's see if my window pops up. Slowly but surely. Awesome. So let's go ahead and add my robot that I created earlier. So it's going to be as simple as searching for it and clicking add. All right, now we have our robot in the robot pool. Now we can really do the fun part. I'm gonna clean up this a little bit. You can now see we have this design object within our designer. This is awesome, I love this feature. Uh, we're going to call this get ESG score. Whoops. Robotic task that gets a company's whoop, ESG score. Man, my spelling is just not good today. And then here's where we're going to add that robot pool. So I'm going to look up my ESG pool and click create. So now it knows that any robot within that pool can carry out this task. But as I was mentioning, I love that the Appian RPA stuff is now in designer. So I can create a robotic task directly from designer and have a familiar interface and have everything kind of unified together um, so that I don't have to navigate between different sites. So it definitely makes things very easy. Now that we're in, we can directly jump in and start to record what we want our actions to be. So we're gonna click this little record button here, make sure the robot is my computer, that's what we want. And we're gonna let this go ahead and set up. Now this might take a couple seconds, um, it's going to pull up kind of our task recorder. Um, we're going to pick what um, system we want to use. So I'll probably use Firefox for this demonstration, but you could use Chrome. You could use uh, any other um, system that you may have um, to kind of record the steps um, as you go through. And so it looks like it's slowly booting up here. We'll give it just a second. But um, this task recorder is super helpful. It's going to kind of monitor my steps that I do and kind of watch me. And, and as I go through, it'll record those. So as I mentioned, I'm going to select Firefox as my application. It's going to pull it up here. So let's give it just a second. See if my Firefox will get booted up for me. Um, but as I go through, you'll kind of see me renaming the steps. This is going to make it really easy for me to understand what I did in the process. So that when I have to come back and make any changes, things make a lot more sense. So I know kind of what I'm looking at, what the process is and stuff like that. 
So right off the bat, you can see it opens up my browser. I'm going to input our uh, website that we actually want it to navigate to. And so I'll click search here and you can see over here on the right, it's recording my steps. So open browser and it has my URL. I'm going to accept the cookies and we will rename this accept cookies. Now we're gonna scroll down to find an ESG score. So this is what we want the robot to do. We want it to click into this and let's just say we're looking up uh, Accenture's ESG score. We will look up Accenture and click enter to search for that company's ESG score. We are going to type um, enter company name. So now it knows we know what that step was. And you can see here's the score. And you see the blue box up here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna click actions, get attribute. And you can see it pulled our attribute of 60. So that is Accenture's ESG score. So let's just call this get ESG score. And we wanna save this into a variable so that we can return it into our process. So let's just name this variable ESG score, make it of type number integer and click create. So perfect, now we have that ESG score being saved. Last thing we're gonna do is simply close out of our browser. Perfect, that's all we had to do. Pretty simple. We will name this get ESG score as our group and we will go ahead and add it and create it. And you will see that Appian RPA will take all these steps and actually input them into our RPA designer so that we can take action on them and make any changes that we might want. So you'll see here, awesome, there they are. The first thing I'm gonna do is just for uh, organization purposes, is I'm gonna move the open browser and the closed browser, browser into their setup and cleanup sections perspective, uh, respectively. Um, this is just kind of a good practice um, to help keep things organized. And then we can keep our main stuff here. And so you can see we have our accept cookies, enter company name, and get ESG score. Now, one thing I do need to do is I need to add a keyboard shortcut after get ESG score because I need the um, robot to know to hit enter to search. And so we're going to hit search company. And we are going to click enter. So the robot will actually hit enter for us when we need it to. Now, the last thing we need to do is we don't want it to search Accenture every time we run this process. We want it to be whatever company we provide it. So I'm actually just going to go in here, search company or enter as company name. This is going to be a variable of type text. We will make the initial value Accenture just for testing purposes, but we will make it a parameter so that whatever value we provide it, that's the one that goes in. Let's go ahead and click create. And for update value for when we're searching a company, instead of Accenture, we'll just make it a variable, call it company name, and we'll make sure that it scrolls to that element before interacting with it. So we've made a lot of changes here. I wanna make sure I go ahead and click save. And just like that, we have our robotic process. What it's gonna do is it's gonna open up our browser. We're gonna accept the cookies, search the company name that whatever we provide it, get the ESG score, pull it back into our process and save it into our process variable here. And then it's going to, oh, whoops, look like, looks like I made a mistake. I'm actually gonna slide this one between here. I want it to search and hit enter after I enter the company name, not after I do the get ESG score, that wouldn't make much sense. Um, so, okay, perfect. So now we're gonna enter the company name, then hit enter and then get the score. So that's what we want it to do. So it, it, it's a really good visual. If you ever have to debug or, or do any testing, you have this really good visual here. So speaking of testing, let's go ahead and test it. So like I said, we'll just do Accenture. We'll do the first available, but my robot is the only one available, so it will be on my robot. We're gonna do testing, and we're gonna go ahead and click test. And so you'll see that it's kind of gonna open up our workflow for how the robotic task is performing. And it'll kind of go through the steps and show you the success of um, how it's doing. So you can see my browser's gonna be opening, and I'm not doing anything, I'm hands-free. This is kind of the robot taking over and doing its job. And so you can see it's gonna open up our website that we provided. It should accept our cookies when they appear. There they are, let's see, accept. Maybe, there we go. Awesome, it's gonna scroll down and search Accenture, pull our ESG score, close our browser, and amazing. You can see it worked flawlessly. We have our score of 60. And so now we can pull that back into our processes in order to take action on that and do different business rules. Um, and save that to the company when we're processing their application. So that's it, it was pretty simple. Building a robotic task is very simple. You kind of let Appian do all the hard part for you and you can just kind of do the steps and it'll, it'll sort it out for you so that it makes your life really easy and you can make really powerful robotic processes with that.
I hope you liked this video. Please check the description below for additional viewing suggestions. Also, please subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified of any new episodes. Thank you for watching. Happy learning, and I'll see you in the next one.